Now, from the area's leader in live local news, this is WYLN News, the area's number one source of live local news and information in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Columbia Counties. WYLN News starts now. Good evening, and thank you for joining us on WYLN News. I'm Paula Dagnan. An after-hours club was raided over the weekend in Hazleton. Police say the home on North Laurel Street has been under investigation for several months after neighbors began making complaints about loud noise and large groups of people converging on the place on the weekends. Fernando Ramirez and Myra Gonzalez, owners of the home, were taken into custody on numerous charges. Alfredo Ramirez Penales was charged with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. When the raid was conducted early Sunday morning, some 250 people were found inside, including several children sleeping upstairs. Pennsylvania State Police at Wyoming and Ashley Police are investigating a death. 31-year-old Brian Brymeyer was found unresponsive at a home in the 100 block of South Main Street in Ashley just before noon yesterday. According to police reports, when they arrived, Brymeyer was on the floor with an apparent stab wound to the chest. He later died at the hospital. Investigators have not released any details regarding circumstances surrounding the incident. An autopsy has been scheduled for tomorrow. A man already in jail for allegedly shooting his daughter's boyfriend after an argument in West Hazleton is now facing another charge. Domingo Garcia Lopez was arrested on Easter Sunday for the alleged shooting at a home on Washington Avenue in the borough. The victim, Oliver Rodriguez, told police that Garcia Lopez fired a gun at him, hitting him five times. Four bullets hit his arm, one his stomach. Garcia Lopez was initially charged with aggravated assault. Charges were amended on Thursday at his preliminary hearing to include a count of attempted criminal homicide. He's currently being held in prison without bail. One man was cited for public drunkenness and a woman was charged with harassment last week in Mahanoy City in two separate incidents. 26-year-old Brandon Fritz was cited twice for public drunkenness May 15th. The incidents occurred in the 100 block of East Pine Street. On Saturday, a summary charge of harassment was filed on 42-year-old Alexa Cullian of Mahanoy City. The incident happened in the 600 block of West Market Street. The city of Hazleton's designation as a distressed community has sparked the interest of firms looking to locate to the area for the distribution of medical marijuana. Pennsylvania's medical marijuana permit application gives points to a facility that moves into an Act 47 community. Hazleton zoning officer Charles Pedry has already approved an application from Thera Green, which is looking to open a dispensary on Old Cranberry Road. An Allentown realtor also expressed interest in opening a, opening a dispensary at the Grand Central Plaza on North Vine Street. Hearings for a grower and processor and another dispensary will take place at the next Hazleton Zoning Board, that meeting set for June 7th. A police chase after an alleged robbery at a CVS on Music Street in Scranton led to the arrest of three people. It was around 2.30 this morning when workers told police two men came in showing weapons. One jumped the counter grabbing cash and pills. The vehicle fled the scene, taking police on a chase through Lackawanna and Luzerne counties. State and local police from several departments surrounded the vehicle in the southbound lanes of Interstate 81 near the Avoca exit. 20-year-old Corfon House was charged with robbery, simple assault, and terroristic threats. 25-year-old Rashad Coleman and 21-year-old Nicola Dunlap were both charged with conspiracy. Luzerne County Council members are set to vote on a proposed contract with unionized county employees at this week's meeting. Workers affected by the contract work in several Luzerne County departments. The previous collective bargaining agreement between the county and workers had expired and the union and county officials bargained to reach a new agreement. Details of that agreement have not yet been released because they are considered to still be in negotiations until council votes on the resolution. 
Luzerne County Council meets tomorrow night at the Luzerne County Courthouse. A procession honoring a local soldier who died following a training mission with the U.S. Army was held Thursday night in Mahanoy City. Today, the funeral took place for 21-year-old Peter Luddy of Mahanoy City, who died last week in Virginia from a traumatic brain injury he suffered while training. He was serving in the Army Reserves. Luddy, born in Hazleton, a graduate of Mahanoy area, was attending Penn State. In light of the recent school shooting in Texas, Governor Tom Wolf is urging both Democratic and Republican lawmakers to enact measures to improve school and gun safety. The School Safety Task Force is nearing completion of its regional meetings. It aims to provide better tools for law enforcement, schools, students, and their families. Senate Bill 501 was passed in the Senate nearly two months ago, but the governor pointed out that it has not been called for a vote in the House. The bill would keep guns out of the hands of domestic abusers. The governor states that in Pennsylvania, weapons like an AR-15 can be purchased at a private sale without requiring a background check by state police. He urges the House and Senate to close that loophole to reduce the likelihood of a known dangerous individual from getting access to the potentially deadly weapons. Coming up on WYLN News, one graduate this weekend has a special distinction. Julia Wiegand explains, plus some good news for Pennsylvania unemployment numbers. But first, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast. Showers developing overnight with a low of 57. Rain and rumbles of thunder tomorrow, the high 62. Clouds early on Wednesday, then some late-day sun, the high 75. We'll be right back. Pocono Raceway is summertime, where the whole crew's invited, where fans become friends, where good times roll, and the racing is always a little tricky. Bring your friends, bring your family, just bring it, Pocono style. Introducing CrossFit Drums, the Greater Hazleton area's first and only CrossFit affiliate. We still offer our traditional monthly gym memberships and one-on-one -on -one personal training, but have expanded to also offer CrossFit classes taught by multiple level one CrossFit certified trainers. We are open seven days a week, 365 days a year to help you achieve your fitness goals. CrossFit Drums now open and ready to get you in the shape of your life. All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is honored to serve you during the Memorial Day sales event. Lease a new Jeep Compass for just $169 a month or get up to $13,731 off a 2018 Ram 1500 Crew Cab during the Jeep Celebration event at All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or online at allamericanjeep.net. Changes in traffic patterns will be taking place for motorists traveling Route 209 in Mahoning Township. Work began today to repair a damaged retaining wall along Route 209. PennDOT announced that one lane of traffic will remain open on 209, both north and southbound. The two northbound lanes will be reduced to a single lane and southbound traffic shifted away from the wall. Construction is expected to be completed by the middle of August. The Pennsylvania Department of Transportation announced its Memorial Day weekend holiday schedule. All driver's license and photo centers will be closed Saturday, May 26th and Monday, May 28th in observance of Memorial Day. Customers are reminded that driver and vehicle products and services are available online by visiting dmv.pa.gov. 
An 82-year-old student at Luzerne County Community College will make history this week as the oldest graduate from their campus. WILN's Julia Wiegand has more. 82-year-old mountaintop resident Theodore Geffert will make history come May 24th as the oldest graduate in the history of Luzerne County Community College. Geffert will graduate with a degree in Computer Information Systems from LCCC. He was a Wilkes-Barre Township High School graduate in 1953, earned his bachelor's in mathematics from King's College in 1964, and earned his master's degree in teaching from both Marywood University and the College of William and Mary. Early in life, I always looked at as education as a way to succeed. And once I start doing it, I've, I've never stopped. I, I started getting, I took courses in the Army. When I was in the Army, I started taking courses at Kansas State University. When I came out of the service, I took some extension courses at Wilkes-Barre Technical and School with Penn State at that time. They were just in, in Wilkes-Barre. And then I decided, well, I, I, if I wanted to get out of the industry sewing shoes that uh, perhaps I, I'd go to King's. So. He started teaching at Kingston High School in 1964, followed aspirations to be a principal by getting certification at the University of Scranton, climbed up in administration by taking courses at Lehigh University, transferred to Crestwood High School for the next 40 years, and retired in 2004. And you're going to learn. You know, you just can't sit around just asking questions. You have to go where people have the knowledge. So. Geffert's accumulated over 130 credits in his time at LCCC and isn't planning to stop there. He's considering internet security courses to bridge communication with his children and grandchildren. Now using iPhones and things like that, I felt as though ah, you got to communicate. And I live in a world that's changing. So I've, I've got to understand what's going on. You know. Geffert wants to push people to continue educating themselves to stay young and keep their brain active. So you have to adapt to society, not society adapt to you. It's never going to happen. The world does not revolve around you. You have to learn how to revolve around the world if you're going to be successful and, and, and have a, a fulfilled life. If I didn't do that, I can't wait for the government to come and take care of me. You've got to learn how to take care of yourself in this life. You, you can't depend on somebody to take care of you. He credits LCCC for inspiring him to be a better man with the skills he's learned and the relationships he's built. LCCC's annual commencement ceremony will be held Thursday, May 24th, starting at 6 p.m. at Mohegan Sun Arena. Reporting for WYLN News, I'm Julia Wiegand. Some good advice there. Pennsylvania's payrolls crept to another record high in April, while the unemployment rate inched down to a post-recession low. The State Department of Labor and Industry said last week that Pennsylvania's unemployment rate was 4.7 percent in April. The national rate, 3.9 percent. Pennsylvania's civilian labor force contracted by 16,000 as employment and unemployment dropped. Seasonally adjusted non-farm payrolls rose by about 9,000 in April, a record high, just above 6 million. Coming up on Humboldt's News Choice, the blitz is on. We'll explain in Community and You. Plus, classes that could save lives are coming to our area. We'll tell you where and when. But first, let's take a look at today's winning midday lottery numbers. Good luck if you played. Stay with us. advertising a student like me pitching you the same old ideas but I'm not gonna do that instead I'm gonna tell you what you can do with the Penn State degree you can help anyone go anywhere create and with 20 campuses to choose from you'll always feel at home look Penn State is amazing but your best years are just beginning come find out for yourself are you in good hands? Call Gary McNeilis of Allstate Insurance for all your insurance needs. The McNeilis Agency has two locations to conveniently serve you, 1092 North Church Street in Hazel Township and Hometown Village Square in Hometown. 
Their quality service-oriented agency will make sure you get the coverage you need at a price you can afford. Call in Hazel Township at 570-454-1981 or in Hometown at 570-668-5133. Are you in good hands? All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Welcome to Community and You here on WYL and everyone. I'm Gary Perna. I'm very pleased to be joined by James May from PennDOT. And James, we are in this winter that never ends, <laughs> even though it, it says it's spring out. Um, I haven't seen it, but uh, first of all, PennDOT has worked extremely hard all winter long, uh, clearing the roads, making sure everyone can get where they need to go safely. Uh, now that we're kind of coming out of winter, uh, we start to see the pothole problem. Mm -hmm. And I can guarantee you the pot light, uh, pothole hotline is going full strength uh, at your office. So uh, first of all, uh, how is PennDOT handling coming out of winter, now coming into spring and getting ready to go out and correct some of those roadways? Well, you're right. This seems like it's the winter that never ends here. It's been spring for th three or four weeks already, mm -hmm. and it just doesn't feel like it. Um, this is always, in many ways, the most difficult time for us because uh, as soon as the snow melts away and people can see the damage that was caused by the freeze-thaw cycle over the winter time, and we had a lot of uh, days and a lot of weeks this, this last winter in which it would get above 50 degrees, above 30 degrees even, and then it would drop to below zero. And some days we had like 40 or 50 degree swings with rain. And if you want to create potholes, that is the perfect recipe for creating potholes. Have temperatures that are above freezing, then below freezing, and add water. And what happens is the water gets down there into the road, it expands when it freezes, then it contracts and it expands, and that's how you create potholes. We had a lot of days like that over this winter. So the time between when the, the snow begins to melt until the, the ground temperature warms up, um, um, we have to have temperatures that where the, the road temperature is about 40 degrees mm -hmm. and the asphalt plants are open. They don't open until they know that there's enough business, that the temperatures are going to stay warm enough. So right now for the next few weeks, we're in that really difficult time where our, there's a lot of potholes. Our crews are mm -hmm. going out, filling them with cold patch, which is essentially just gravel material that they put in to try to hold your car over until we can get there and do some more permanent repairs. But the good news is on April 18th, if the weather cooperates, um, that's when we're looking having the asphalt plants open and from April 18th until the end of the month we're doing a pothole blitz where we're going to be working uh, with local municipalities working with utility companies all PennDOT crews will be out on the roads filling potholes uh, and doing the permanent repairs that everybody wants to have done I you know I can only imagine some of the supervisors in PennDOT from you know Monday and Tuesday you were plowing snow and cindering and then <laughs> Thursday Friday you were uh, using cold patch and, and patching holes because the snow was gone uh, so this really is a trying winter I think for everybody across the board, especially you guys. Uh, now that we are in the spring uh, and we are going to start to see this, again, if people have complaints and they're on a state road, what's that magical number? Uh, what's your cell phone number? Give me that. 1-800-FIX-ROAD <laughs> <laughs> uh, is the, the phone number that you can call to report an issue. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's great. The other thing that we see this time of year as well is are a lot of drainage issues. Mm -hmm. And uh, because we are unfortunately still in that time where uh, the water and the ice is freezing and then at night it's dropping down below zero, uh, that can become a real issue as well. And so many times people will call in uh, various drainage issues as well, especially when it becomes a safety issue. So 1-800-FIX-ROAD, and that will take you right to uh, the uh, local county that you're calling from, and you can you can talk to somebody there. Um, you can also go to 511-PA. Uh, mm -hmm. So the, the way to get information from the, the viewers to mm -hmm. us is 1-800-FIX-ROAD. The way to get information from us uh, to the viewer would be uh, the 511-PA app. And there's a lot of new features on that that we have right now. 
Um, you can see where roads have been plowed in the winter time. Mm -hmm. You can see where construction is taking place. Uh, we also send out a weekly uh, road report in the spring and summer and fall time that uh, lets you know what to expect, what to plan as far as the construction. You can email me directly at jamay at pa.gov, jamay at pa.gov. We'll put you on that list. We don't use it for anything else, just mm -hmm. to send you the updates on that. And a lot of things will be taking place once again this year, a lot of construction taking place. The, the bad news with that, obviously, is that that ties up traffic sometimes, <laughs> uh, but things are being fixed, things mm -hmm. are being repaired. Uh, and also, now that we're, we're in this uh, spring area uh, of our calendar, even though I think we're still in winter, um, <laughs> This is the spring cleaning time. Most people are kind of getting anxious and they want to be out. So again, we're seeing, you know, we have some potholes until they're fixed, but it's also not only paying attention to them, but paying attention to people who may be out biking and jogging and maybe want to get out of the house and start their exercise routine. It's also very important to keep eyes out for them. There, there's a, this is the time of year in which, um, especially now until the end of the school year, mm -hmm. where you have a lot of kids who are in the morning going out waiting for the bus, and uh, you're right, people jogging, you get that nice first uh, day where it actually feels like spring. You have all sorts of people out walking and jogging. Um, and so really be careful on the streets. Also, and we talked about it, there will be construction crews, uh, PennDOT crews yes. out working. And especially when they're doing pothole repairs, um, they don't go in with the concrete barriers to protect them from all the traffic. It's, it's normally a series of orange cones and um, that won't stop a car. And so put your cell phone down, pay attention mm -hmm. to what you're doing, keep your eyes on the road, your mind on the task at hand, your hands on the wheel, and just focus on driving. Leave the phone alone and um, just really pay attention because there are a lot of people out there. There are, and as a person who has filled potholes for many years, pay attention, please. A <laughs> uh, lot of close calls, but again, uh, this is a very important season uh, for PennDOT, very busy one for them as well. So again, just because you made the phone call doesn't necessarily mean the next day they're going to be there uh, working. We always gotta keep that in mind. Uh, they do take the reports and they get to them as fast as they can, like all the municipalities here, not only the state. James, thanks so much for coming down. To My pleasure. Us. Again, you have any questions, comments, or concerns, all the information's been up on your screen. Pay attention and enjoy the spring. Uh, when it does show up here in Northeast Pennsylvania. Thanks for joining us on Community and you everyone. We'll see you next time. Chur's Auto Sales has been serving the area with quality vehicles since 1954. Chur's Auto Sales is known as your friendly dealer and now in their fourth generation and voted the best used car dealer by the readers of Standard Speaker Choice Awards. John Chur would like to thank everyone that voted for his business. When you need a quality pre-owned vehicle, choose from a large selection at Chur's 570-454-7229. Reader's Italian Ice Hazelton, located in the plaza near Walmart, is open for the season. Visit Reader's Italian Ice in Hazelton and vote for your favorite flavor teams to score special deals on the winner. Reader's of Hazelton supporting all area sports teams. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric, Mr. Slim, ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money saving technology can save you 25 to 50% on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialist, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. Spring is here, so stop in and get everything you need to make your garden colorful and bright. Check out our incredible low prices only at Van Hoeken Greenhouses, Retail Garden Center, Lofty Road, McAdoo. As part of a nationwide campaign launched by the White House, Geisinger will be hosting free training sessions to teach people how to stop the bleed. The classes, which are now listed on your screen, teach simple steps on how to stop or slow down life-threatening bleeding. The classes will be taught by the Geisinger Trauma Team and are offered to highlight Pennsylvania's Stop the Bleed Day in May. The training will include dressing wounds and using tourniquets. The program is free and open to the public, but space is limited to 25 attendees per session and pre-registration is encouraged. If you'd like to find out more, you can visit geisinger.org for more information. 
The Greater Hazelton Unit of the American Cancer Society has announced the date and time for this year's Relay for Life. The annual event, which raises money for the fight against cancer, is scheduled for Saturday, June 2nd from 10 a.m. until 11 p.m. at the track at Cougar Park at the Hazelton Area High School. The day-long relay features vendors, crafts, a survivor luncheon, live entertainment, and a luminaria ceremony. If you'd like more information on participating, you can log on to relayforlife.org backslash PA Greater Hazelton. Eligible seniors living in the 116th district can now take advantage of the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture's voucher program. On your screen, the dates and times where the vouchers will be distributed. Vouchers are provided on a first come first serve basis. Four $5 vouchers will be given to each person and can be used to purchase produce at participating farmers markets as well as roadside stands. Now stay with us. A look at today's weather is next here on WYLN News. Enter for a chance to win two demolition derby tickets plus gate admission to the Bloomsburg Fair. All you have to do is like WYL News on Facebook and share this post when you see it. You'll be entered for a chance to win. A random person will be chosen Friday, May 25th. And the winner will be announced on the news and Facebook. Don't miss this. WYLN in the Bloomsburg Fair. Hazelton Eye Specialists welcomes Dr. James Diem to their practice. Dr. Diem specializes in comprehensive eye care from birth to all ages, specializing in hard-to-fit contact lenses, vision rehabilitation due to head trauma and stroke, now accepting new patients. Don't give up. Call Dr. Diem and let him help you on your journey to better vision today. You'll find it easy to keep your bin full with Ross Cycle. Fast, reliable service, pickup or delivery. Call for a great price, 570-455-7424. Ross Cycle Company, keeping you warm. Keep the ball hot on the court, Hazelton Area Cougars. WYLNCA35's children's programming is designed with the specific purpose of serving the educational and informational needs of children. In compliance with FCC guidelines, a copy of the Children's Programming Report is on file for public inspection at WYLN, 1057 East 10th Street, Hazleton, PA, during normal business hours, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday.
You're watching Tamaqua's Choice for news, weather, and live local sports. WYLN, we're your local network.